Hi guys, welcome back to Cisco Biology. Today we are going to learn the structure and functions of synapses. Now, before we start the lesson, there's one thing that you guys need to know. What is the functions of the nerve cell, or so-called the neuron? It has the functions of sending information throughout our body by using electrical impulses. After you understand the functions of the neuron, then we can start this topic already. Now, from this diagram, you can see there are two nerve cells over here. The first one, the nerve cell that looks like a star, is called the relay neuron. The relay neuron. The second nerve cell here is called the motor neuron. Now, in this case, relay neuron want to send the signal to the motor neuron. What he need to do? First, he need to transmit the electrical impulse from its dendrite this is so-called the dendrites, all the way to the synaptic knob of this relay neuron. Now, remember that the nerve cell always transmit the nerve impulse from the dendrite to the synaptic knob. So this is the direction, always remember that. So how do you remember this? We can memorize it in this way. From A to Z, D or S come first. D come first, right? So dendrite is always the starting point for the nerve impulse to be transmitted from this starting point, dendrite, to the synaptic knobs. Now, when the electrical impulse comes to the synaptic knob, it's facing one problem. There is a very small gap here. This electrical impulse cannot just jump over to the next cell. So how the relay neuron transmit the information to the motor neuron? Then we are going to zoom into this place. Okay, let me show you what am I trying to draw here. So from this diagram, you can see there are two parts. The first part is the synaptic knob of the relay neuron. The second part here, this is actually the dendrites of the motor neuron. Now, there's one thing that you guys need to know. Dendrite is always the structure that receiving the information. For synaptic knob, it is the structure that always sending out the information. So the direction of the nerve impulse should be flowing in this way. Again, before the signal comes to the synaptic knob, so it is still in the electrical impulse. But when it comes to the synaptic knobs, it is facing one problem. There is a small gap over here. And this small gap is being called the synapse. To send the information across this synapse, there is only one way, which is the neuron must convert the electrical impulses into a chemical signal so that it can diffuse across the synapse and then come to this dendrite. So let's study the synaptic knob first. So from what you can see here, we have two things inside the synaptic knob, the mitochondria. The second thing is the synaptic vesicle. So what is inside the synaptic vesicle? So inside the synaptic vesicle, we have a lot of neurotransmitter, a chemical that is going to be sent across the synapse. So remember, this neurotransmitter is a chemical substance. Now. In order to release the neurotransmitter into the synapse, this synaptic vesicle is going to move towards the end of the synaptic knobs to fuse with the membrane to the synaptic knobs in order to release the neurotransmitter into the synapse. For the synaptic vesicles to move from here to here, it is considered as a movement. So for any movement or for any reactions to happen, we need energy, correct or not? So where does the energy come from? It's actually coming from the mitochondria. You can actually see that there are a lot of mitochondria can be found in these synaptic knobs because they want to produce the energy just for the transmission of the nerve impulse. Smart, right? So when the neurotransmitters are being released into the synapse, this neurotransmitter will find a way to bind with the receptor from the dendrites. So this structure here is actually the receptor which is bit to specifically bind to the neurotransmitter. So the neurotransmitter will diffuse across the synapse and bind to the receptor on the dendrites. Once the receptor receives the neurotransmitter, it will convert this neurotransmitter, the chemical signal, into the electrical signal. And then again, this dendrite will send the electrical signal to the synaptic knobs of this nerve cell. Alright, so that's it for the whole process of transmission of nerve impulse. Remember that you guys must at least memorize 
one or two types of the neurotransmitter. I would suggest you guys to memorize the acetylcholine and topamine. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.